Well, we've got more talk with the overagers, Sean Fisher, Eric Gouldy, and Randy Fitzgerald from last week. Let's listen in as they reflect on their Wheeler career and their season in Plymouth. That's coming up right now. Randy Fitzgerald, Sean Fisher, and Eric Gouldy, the past four years have brought plenty of highs and lows. However, they say this year will be their most memorable one. First year here was pretty similar to actually the team we have now. We're going into the season, we weren't expected to do too much, but uh, came out and surprised a lot of people. But this year we've just we've exceeded expectations tremendously. And in my first season, it was uh, for myself leaving home and all that. You have to deal with those issues and, and you know getting a little homesick here and there. But you know it's just it makes you grow as a person. And now here I am in my fourth year, and it seems like we have the same type of team. But now we're challenging for the championship. First year that I was here, we had a. I don't know, we had kind of a mediocre, different kind of team. We had um, we had guys who, um, I'm not really sure how to, how to describe our first year's team. It was, a, it was a pretty good team, but it seemed like a few guys were kind of like, uh, used to go their own way. This team has got uh, unlimited potential. I think uh, it's going to be in a couple of years a lot like our team we had last year with a lot of highly touted NHL prospects, but I think overall this team probably has a lot more character than we had last year, and I just if the guys keep their heads on straight and keep focus, I think there's just unlimited potential for this team. Just knowing that everybody comes to the rink and working hard, and, and you know, you always used to say you put on your hard hat to go to work, and, and every day, every, every game, this team puts on their hard hats. We got a lot of talent, for sure. That's gonna, gonna be real good next year, following year. I'm sure it'll carry on just with the coaches here and the uh, tradition that it's been having. It'll always be good. Everybody in that locker room is willing to sacrifice, you know, their body to block a shot, sacrifice their body to take a hit to get the puck in deep. And, and that's the biggest thing about this team is, is everybody's there for each other, not themselves. With the Whalers losing three captains at the end of this season, the big question is who's going to step up and take their place? All the letters are leaving next year except for Jamie Long, possibility overage. So you have a lot of second year guys and, and possible rookies wearing letters next year. So uh, there's a lot of guys that deserve it. Like uh, a surprise guy I thought was is Nate Kaiser. Number five, Nate Kaiser. He's a rookie this year, but he's real vocal in the dressing room and works hard on the ice, so he's a possibility for wearing a lighter. And then you have the second-year guys like Damian Sturma, Chris Fernarski, Jared Newman. So that's, it's going to be a tough decision for the coaching staff to make. Possibly a guy like Cole Jarrett or uh, possibly Newman. Newman's getting to be some... Uh, he's getting, getting to be better with the puck and showing more patience of late, so... I would probably say one of them two guys would, would be it for, for now. Although Eric was drafted by Toronto, he did not sign with the Maple Leafs. But just like Fisher and Fitzgerald, their futures are still uncertain. And my agent told me I was going to get drafted. Didn't know where, didn't know when. A couple of other guys on the team were, were in that draft. I mean, uh, Drew, Harold Druk and one of my best friends, you know, in hockey still to this day. You know, I'm sitting down next to him on the steps before he got drafted to Vancouver. And, Funny story, I asked him, you know, who didn't he want to go to, you know, and he, he had mentioned Vancouver being so far away from home, and, you know, with the, with the 30th pick, Vancouver takes him right there, like, two minutes after he said it. And so for the rest of the rest of the duration of the draft, I was cursing every team out before they drafted somebody to see if I could go, you know. But, uh, no, it was, it, was, it was great. I mean, um, it seemed like when your name was called, the time stood still. Of my future is... Uh, Getting some kind of uh, NHL contract and uh, work my way up, you know, uh, play, hopefully play either in the uh, A or the I next year and, um, you know, stick around as long as I can, get a shot and make the best of it when I get there. I've definitely had the most fun this year. Uh, it's been it's been a big surprise and, and that the way the guys have come together and it's probably the closest team we've had in the four years here and it's just been an unbelievable ride for us especially in my final year coming in a lot of people thought we wouldn't make the playoffs but now i'm looking at a shot of maybe winning the championship so it's been a very nice nice surprise mm -hmm.